Shall I be boring and talk to you about inverter technology? Now, before you all switch off, it's really quite cool. So this one that I'm in has an inverter. And what that means is it gives you the ability to dial up or down the speed of the current that you're swimming against. So, a bit like a treadmill, you can press the button and turn the speed up. This goes from one to 10. Now I, and this currently here, is coming out at a level two. So you see it pushes me away, but I can swim quite comfortably and not move anywhere. I'm swimming on the spot. It's not taking too much effort because I'm not, I'm not a hardcore swimmer. I love a leisurely swim and I really don't want to get my hair wet. So this is set on two. If it was turned up to 10, it would shoot me at that end of the swim spa because it's really powerful. But the best bit about inverter technology is not only that you can choose the speed at which you swim against, so great if you're in a house with more, one, more than one person swimming in it, so you know that you're number three and you know that mum's a number four and you can come in and just work it yourself. But the massive, massive, massive benefit is energy consumption. Because if you are on 10, you are using all the power and all the capacity of the jets. If you're on number two, you're not. You're using a fraction of full jet, which means it's saving you energy. If it's saving you energy, it's saving you money. And if it's saving you money, it is saving the environment. Okay, it's not saving the environment, is it? But it's being a little bit more sustainable. If you don't have inverter technology in your swim spa, and the majority of them on the market do not, then they are on or they are off. So if you have one and it's got four jets to power the swim, then all four jets are on full. So they are using all the energy of all the jets all the time. And it's costing, but it's really bloody hard to swim at full power. So some of them have diverters, so an actual dial that you can turn and adjust and you can move the power around. But if somebody else then gets in and adjusts it, you've got to spend the time when you get back in remembering whereabouts on the dial you are. So it's a bit of a pain. It's not the luxury of inverter technology, but it also is going to cost a damn sight more to run in the long run. So yeah, inverter technology. Sounded boring, but actually, I think you'll agree. It's pretty exciting.